Open a new web form and click Toolbox. Double-click Data Grid Control and drag it and place it such as this. Click Data Grid and go to Properties window and then click Auto Format link. It will show you the Auto Format window. Select any available scheme which would fit your data grid. Now then click OK. By default, data grid control displays with three columns and five rows. Click Toolbox and double-click Button Control. Drag it and place it as such. Press the F4 key to get Properties window and change the text property to Show. Double-click Button Control. We are now in Code window. Here we have to include system.data.sql client namespace. Just add this coding and see the logic. Our first task is to create a connection to database. Use this SQL connection statement. Here we've got to mention the database name, user ID and password. Next, create a dataset object which will be used for storing and manipulating the data. Here, the dataset object cannot directly interact with database. We need to create a data adapter object which will refer to the connection already created. You can populate the dataset by using the fill command. The first argument of fill method is the dataset name which we want to populate. The second argument is the name of the data table. The results of the SQL queries pass to data table. In this example, we have created a data table named employee. And the values in this table would be the results of the SQL query, select star from EMP. Finally, we have to bind the values to the data grid control using the bind method. Press F5 and you will see the answer. Try to practice this simple example and use your own logic to develop a similar application.